Alrighty, hello Yogmoth Discord, YouTube, and everyone else watching. My name is Zane, also known as Meat. Uh, I'm an avid Yogmoth player. Just wanted to record some gameplay of myself, get some footage out there for the Yogmoth community, uh, improve myself as a player, and also just get better, communicate, and give insight to any other Yogmoth players out there. So, I'm recording myself some footage of uh, MTGO leagues. Uh, let's see, do I want to keep. They're playing first. Um, stuck on two mana. On the blind. Oh, we do know they're playing a Gigantha, so it gives us a little bit of information. I see a Gigantha, I immediately think um, maybe Esper Food, or maybe Death Shadow. So they might have some main deck disruption. Got me, yes. Um. They are on the play. I think we're gonna mull. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna keep this. Uh, I'm gonna put back. Let's put back a mana dork. Go from here. So you'll tell instead. Okay, so blue black. They're not cracking it. Okay, so no turn one play from them. Prosperous Innkeeper. Um, our turn three play could be... So here I could think about playing Young Wolf and then playing Ignoble. Just to protect my Ignoble for a turn. I think I'm just going to play... I'll just play out Ignoble. I'll pass it back. Just to have Endurance turn three if the Ignoble survives, which is very likely it doesn't. Okay, so Watergrave tapped. Okay. There's a Saga. Okay, so I'm thinking Esper Food. Uh, Ledger Shredder. Yep, that's fine. Bobble. Yep. Conniving so good. Hmm. Discards a land. Puts the Bobble. He's gonna crack it. He's gonna look at me. It's actually great that we kept this Endurance here. That's what I was thinking. Uh, okay. So now he draws a card. We don't want to double spell. We don't really have a reason to have the endurance right now because they don't have an emery. Um, we don't want to be double spelling into them. I think it's better to just play that, tap this, get out a young wolf, and then pass it back to them. Two mana. On Earth, okay. Cycle it, sure. Shock in a land, pay one, bring leaf drum, sure. Swing for one? No, okay. I'm gonna crack here, get an overgrown two, not play two life, move to my turn. Yogmoth, damn it. So here. Just play out another, another Ignoble and swing with the Young Wolf. Always yield. We're gonna take it, excellent. Play a Swamp, we're gonna hold up Endurance. So now they're gonna search for something, zero or one. They're gonna create the construct, which we love. Go, I love that they're using their mana here. I really hope they don't have a main deck pithing needle because that's gonna hurt. Sometimes decks can have that. Okay, spell bomb, that still sucks. And they're still gonna double spell. Oh no, no, that doesn't double spell. Get a cookbook, that's fine. Um, don't think we need to endurance here. We can just go to our turn. Court of Calling, excellent. So, ah oh man, if we just had one more land. Hmm, we can't really attack into the 4-4. Four, four. Not playing Outland Liberator main. Let's see, we can go 1-2. And then still have mana up for Endurance. Hmm, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go here, here. 
play innkeeper. Yes. Always yield. Then I think we can pass it back. Don't want to be double spelling into the ledger shredder, it just gives them more looks at cards. Uh, they discard Oval Chase. Pff, do we want an Endurance here? It's gonna let them draw discard, but that's fine because they're forced to discard. I think we're gonna Endurance here. Yeah. That's fine, they get to do that, but we don't care about when they're tapped out. I don't know if the deck runs counter spells or not. I've only played against this deck a few times. I don't think they do. Okay. Okay. Target. Always yield. Boom. Okay, so that way we turned off their... Um, we wanted to do that there, so we turn off their food generation from their Underworld Cookbook. So we don't want them making a lot, because this deck wins by taking infinite turns. Once they have Academy Manufacturer out and Time Sieve, it's very easy. Looks like... Okay, Giganta, Giganta the Hand is fine. Okay. I still have... Oops. forget how to zoom in. Hmm. They have Gigantha in hand. We swing with our Endurance. We put out Noble High Arc. Swing is good. We get three triggers. Hmm. I think we can. I don't think. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, one, two, three. Because we tap here, tap here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be untapped. We'll still have enough. So I think we we'll do that. Swing, it becomes a what? Six, seven? Then he has to double block. Yeah. I think we're fine with that. Do we even need to? I don't even think we need to. We could swing. Take out the ledger shredder at least. If he double blocks, and then just chump block the construct. Yeah, sure. Sure. That. Mm -hmm. Get your ledger shredder out of here. And pass it back. I guess we could have played out the birds there too. Now that the ledger shredder was off the board. They're shocking. They are what? Four mana? Gigantha? Oh, we love this. Sure, play the Gigantha. Yep, Gigantha is good. We're gonna cord here. Keep the treasure up. Cord, Yogmoth. Nice. All right, so this is a really good matchup for us. Um, Asmo, they are Asmo food re uh, with Esper. They don't have Reanimator, but they are Asma Food. They have Asmorano, of course. They have a bunch of artifact synergies. They have sagas. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna bring in here, bring in Force of Vigors. We're gonna bring in Magus. We're gonna bring in Outland Liberator. Um, maybe one more Endurance, because I don't think. I mean, I know that they care about the graveyard a lot, but. I think they care more about artifacts than they do the graveyard because they do have emery they do have the um, 
Oval Chase Man. Daredevil. Looking at a sideboard guide real quick. I do not have one, so this is going to be a new one. Yeah. So I think here... Take out Wall of Roots. Oh man, I don't know if they can play counter spells or not. I don't think they do. You should probably take out one Grist, one Eldritch. Wall, how good is Wall here? I could probably go down on two. I don't think they play, they might play Fatal Push. Not sure. Mm, this is kind of a newer deck, so I'm not one I'm too familiar with. Mm. I think Young Wolf is fine. Probably cut another wall. Then maybe. Just one bird, and then probably forest. Do I need anything else? Bird, Elder City, blah, blah, that's all good. Endurance, I don't think I need another one. Oh, scavenging use. Mm. Could be really good. Yeah. Damn. I always have an issue uh, about what to take out, what not to take out. I think we take out one uh, of those. One string of Rugeist. Probably let me double check something. Oh shit, oh no, timer, damn it, okay, we're fine. Uh, Magic the Gathering online is also something I need to get used to. Uh, we'll keep this, this has a turn 2 grist. Thoughtseize? No, good book. Booming. I think we'll play that out just to keep up the Poseju. Play that, we'll pass it back. Yeah, I'm also new to MTG online, so I'm getting used to the interface and how much time I have in between sideboarding and stuff. I usually pay, uh, play in paper a lot. I go to a lot of uh, in-person tournaments. Uh, so we are up one card, I believe, but I think we're f we should be fine. It's gotta be faster. Also improving, he discards Pithing Needle, okay. They discard Pithing Needle. They're playing Asmo. They might have an Emery in their hand to get that back. Or maybe they just have another one in the in the main board. Real another Underworld cookbook. Okay. Yeah, they do have the Emery, that's why they discarded the Pithing Needle. Okay, so good thing we have the Baseju. Another land. So this is only damage to creatures. So I think we are fine with going Grist here. Plussing on the Grist. If he gets back the Needle, names Grist, we're fine with that because we have Baseju. Three cards in hand. He's discarding Emery to make a food token. He probably wants to kill my insect token. You want to kill my insect token? Swing at the Grist? I'm happy with that. Time seat. Okay, so he probably doesn't want to use those. He's going to be able to tap Emery here to get the thing. Oh, he does. Okay. Both a grist. Okay, sure. That is fine by me. 
So they have one card in hand, Prosperous Innkeeper. Uh, I think we want to leave up the Boseju here. So they have two cards in hand. Um, can they? Because if they go, oops. They play this turn, so they could play Pithy Needle. They could play Bobble. They could play Spell Bomb. I think holding up the. Holding up the, oops. Oh, fetch. Uh, holding up the Oseju is better than just getting one more point of damage in, I think. Okay, so he has Bobble in hand. Hmm. It's the top of my library, sure. He's going to get back the spell bomb. Sure. Gets back to hand. Oh no, it makes it so he can play it. Sure. Swinging, we can we can definitely go swinging. Drawing another card, fine. He knows the top card, just like noble hierarch. Okay. I think we played out. We're gonna hold up uh, Boseju here for a second. Uh, I'll play out the other noble that he, they don't know about. We move to combat. Swing. Always yield. If you want to go racing, we can do that. Take that 4-3. I'll take that 3-3 three, three all day. Two mana. Oh, prismatic ending. Ooh, yep. Well, there goes our beatdown plan. Emery, yep, getting the Mistress Bobble. So good. Yep, play the Mistress Bobble. You can't take an extra turn here if he discards a card and then... Nope, you're not going to do that. Okay. He knows the top card. They know the top card. Uh, if you want to swing again, I would love that. They do not. Okay. Need kind of a answer here. Misty Rainforest. That is not it. Play out Innkeeper. Uh, might as well play out the bird, I guess. Always yield. Just gonna be swinging it in the air. Take that exalted bird. Ah, create a food token. Okay. Shocking in. Ooh, Academy Manufactor. Um, forget how this works. So does it happen upon activation? So you can cast that, okay. Sure. He's gonna discard to create a food token. Um, if you create a food, I think I can do it in response to the trigger. So yeah, I have to go now. I think I just do this. Let's try that. I 
think I might still be dead here. Well, I don't know. I don't think they can make... Hmm. Well, we'll see. They can sacrifice one, two, three, four. They have to sac sacrifice the book or itself. And then next turn. Get us thin our deck here. Just grab Dryad Arbor. Yogmoth. Yogmoth. If you say it enough, it, it works. Yogmoth. Damn it. They knew what I drew, so... Okay, we are fine with that. It's gonna happen to one of our creatures anyway. Uh, I believe... Oh, they're drawing a card here. Interesting. I feel like they could have just taken... I have nothing, so let's the yield. So let's see, what, they're gonna play the Ledger Shredder. Okay. Prismatic Ending something? No, play another one. Okay. I think they're just, they're just going wide, but I think they just could have taken extra infinite turns there. Because they just tapped the Emery, play the... They've tapped the Emery, they played the uh, Manufactor. All right. And then they just discard. They make three. If they ha yeah, wait, they could have just done that there. They just discard and then discard again and then they just refill their hand. I think that's better than just playing. I don't know. Maybe not. Get the spell bomb back, sure. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you love to see it. Okay. Um So are we playing it first, or are we attacking? So if we attack with the young wolf, we have to kind of win here because, well, we can take out the Emery. They can't do that. Um, if we attack with the young wolf, they block. They can't make food to kill. I think we just play Yawgmoth first. Um, tap our creatures. No, we need to tap our mana just in case we draw a cord. Uh, yes. I was thinking maybe we tap our mana. Well, I guess we could have. We could tap our mana and then use our creatures, like tap, sack, tap, sack. But we'll see. Uh, let's see how this plays out. So we're going to attack first. Let's attack with, I mean, they have flying anyways. Let's attack with the young wolf. See what happens. Probably gonna block with the ledger shredder. Oh, okay. Hmm. I mean, we want to keep our young wolf alive, so let's just target here. Sack here. Card to create a food. Okay, it's two food, right? Yeah. Oh, draw a card. Oh, shoot. true, true, true. Okay. Exile my graveyard. Love it. Love that they're doing that here. Making another food. Sure. Graveyard is exiled. Okay. 
I'm putting the counter. I've drawn a Yog another Yoggamoth. Um, okay. Damage. Okay. So Young Wolf does not have any counters on it, so we're gonna pay one life sec here. Sacrifice Young Wolf. And always yield. They do not have anything that they can use to mess with us right now. Always yield here. Oh, and they just pack it in. Okay. Well, there you go. You can miss sideboard and still get the win. <laughs> well, that was a little mistake on my part in the in the sideboarding there, but it's part of learning Magic Online, right? Um, so this is a very hard. I've in my experience, the few times I've played this is a very hard matchup for the Esper food, just because Yogmoth is a beast against uh, Asmo with the protection from humans, and once you get them out on the field, it's very hard for them to really do anything. And they kind of messed up there because they threw away their spell bomb, which they wanted to do to draw a card to get the food, but then they didn't do anything with the food. A little confused uh, as to why they were doing that there. What they should have done is they should have saved it for uh, Young Wolf in the graveyard, which would have sucked, but I think we could have drawn... What would we be drawing next? Draw a card. We're drawing a Grist, and then Strangle Root Geist. Okay, so two creatures, we would have drawn Strangle Root Geist, and then assuming our Young Wolf was dead after that, we got... Okay, yeah, we get the cord there, so... Um, we wouldn't have won, right? Because if we get the, let's say, hypothetically, they kill our young wolf and we are left with this board state, we get the grist, uh, we can float a mana, sack creature, we can, like, uh, kill our creatures and sack, uh, sack for, uh, to draw. We would play Strangle Root Geist, uh, we'd have, uh, one more look to get the Court of Calling, and then their Emery would have been off the board at that point, because we killed it, and then, I think next turn, we would have been fine. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, enjoyed my commentary. Hopefully I can get more uh, more up to speed, more more comfortable. This is all really new for me, but happy to be recording gameplay and showing you guys how the deck works. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.